Hi everyone, it's Terry from the Gypsy Magpie and I am here today for the Graphics Fairies Tag Team Friday. Um, what I want to share with you today is a layered tag that can go into the pocket of a journal. It's actually, it's kind of a tall tag, maybe about 12 inches tall, but it's very, very narrow. It's maybe three and a half inches at um, the bottom where you would slide it into a pocket. And it's nothing but a, lay a bunch of layers, beautiful, beautiful paper. Um, no matter what you've got at home to work with, it will be great. Um, every one of these turns out different and they're so much fun to make. You can usually make them with the scraps that you've got sitting on your table from your last latest project. Um, I, whenever I am out at a thrift store or a book sale, I always look for interesting books of all different sizes. And this one is really cool. I ended up getting an entire set of like 25 um, different little French books. And I think I paid about $2 for the entire set. And they've been great fodder for projects. Um, there's all kinds of cool illustrations and they're every subject you can imagine a lot of them were plays um another i i love this facts you should know about willpower um a friend of mine a few years back handed me a bag and he said i had no reason to to keep these and thought you could do something with them he gave me a sack full of maybe about 30 of these little tiny books i have no idea uh, they are the oddest subjects, but he got them from somebody and boy, he gave them to the right person because I love them. So, you know, they're, they're neat because the pages are very, very small. It's not the size of a, like this is a kind of a standard book page, but anytime you can find stuff like that, grab it. You'll use it for something. So for this tag, I just, I pulled out a bunch of paper. I, I basically just folded everything in half. I've got different heights, different widths. I have some digitals. I love this one. And just print it on copy paper, fold it in half. Um, this is a pretty wallpaper. Uh, a pretty wallpaper digital from the member site. And it's just, it's white inside. Nobody's ever gonna see the inside. It's just folded up. Um, got a little bit of sheet music here, and that's kind of a, oh, this was a pretty, an old paper that I've had in my stash, and just tore a little piece off. So, I'm going to kind of try to recreate this one, but this one may be slightly different. Oh, and I've also got this really pretty rose digital. So, just for a little bit of stability, since it is a tag, I have a really thin piece of cardstock, and that is just going to kind of be my my inside structure. Um, I'm going to start with this guy, and I cut this so that it would fit in this piece of paper when it's folded in half. Now on this tag, I went ahead and I angled off these corners. I like them with the angles and I like them without. So this one, I think I'm just going to leave without. I kind of like the you know little rough edges. So I'm going to leave that one the way it is. And then I'm just going to start layering. Um, it looks like, looks like we'll slip this on. Okay. I like that color. A lot of that will end up getting covered up, but yeah, I just want a little bit sticking up out the top. Another layer. Oh, what else we can do? We can, and you can just like you can arrange these over and over and over. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. Um, oh, I like that pink that's sticking out there. That's nice and bright. And if you have something that you don't love. You can cover it up. You can tear a little piece off. I like that I've got a lot of layers up there. I don't have so many down here, but more than likely that will be tucked into a pocket. I think I am going to pull that down just a little. I don't like the dark one on there. So let's try this. Yeah. 
because I don't want to lose that. That's just too pretty. Actually, try to give myself a little more color up. There you go. Now I've got more color up here. Okay, I definitely like that better. And stick that guy on. We've got nice little torn up edges. Sheet music. You can never go wrong with sheet music. It's beautiful. It's always beautiful. Oh, I like that. Just the little notes sticking out right there. And yeah, I kind of like it just like that. Um, it very closely mimics this one uh, because I tried to, wherever I pulled papers from, I pulled two. Um, yeah, that's probably about it. Let me take this and I'm going to clip this on. I like that. I get a little bit of the dark right there. And this is a tiny, tiny paper clip. I love these things. I, you can buy them on Amazon in packs of like 200 for a couple bucks. Um, this is pretty, and just a little piece of this should be sticking out somewhere just because it is beautiful. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Okay, so that's a good composition that I like. Um, I am going to go ahead and leave. No, I actually, I think I will snip these. I'm just going to kind of eyeball them. A little bit off. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So the way I made that little tab at the top, it was just a little strip of fabric. I just took a snip into the yardage and pulled it so that I'd get a nice torn edge. And I am just going to, I'm just going to glue that on. Perfect. Things like this are so much fun because there's no, there's really no rules that you're following and you're just kind of, oops, I keep bumping my camera. You just kind of make the composition as you go along. And what I will do once I have this set up in exactly the layers I like, I will go back in and I will lift up little edges and I'll put little dabs, dots and just little tiny jobs of glue so that everything stays sturdy. But I like all the layers. I'm going to, let me grab some seam binding. I like to work with multiple strands of seam binding at one time. And the way I do it, I just kind of Pretend like it is a single ribbon. And I am going to I'm tie a bow just like I'm tying my shoes in the morning. The fun thing about seam binding is it's, it's crinkly and wrinkly and its imperfection is its beauty. So I love that it's kind of a mess. I'm going to snip these little edges off, just give them a nice little diagonal trim, but I love seam binding. I just think it's the most beautiful stuff. This has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Oh, I like that. Okay, and on my sample, I actually stitched this button on. We're not going to stitch today. I am simply going to glue this on. That button looks like it has a sand dollar on it. It's kind of cool. So there you go. It's it's tall, it's narrow, uh, but it'll nicely fit into a little pocket in a junk journal. And I love it. I love all the layers. So I hope you give this a try. Come back and join us next Friday and see what's happening for the next Tag Team Friday. Bye-bye.